Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Church Mag, and I've got another unprogrammed episode for you guys. If you've never seen the unprogrammed series, you get five minutes of unedited footage to talk about whatever you want, so here we go. So, I want to talk to you guys about social media accounts that have basically become RSS feeds. If you don't know what RSS feeds are, it's a repository of all of the blog posts that you've ever written where somebody can go to that website and just check up on what you've read. Now, you think that's a silly thing to have unless the fact that you have a hundred different blogs that you check and so whenever you go to this website you just catch up on all the news that's kind of coming to you. So it's kind of like CNN but for the curated aspect of what you actually want to read on the internet. And, and so RSS feeds are great things to have but then people turn their social media accounts into them. And, and here's what happens. I, f I feel like this is what inten unintentionally happens in this process. The bloggers or churches or whoever is trying to get content out there for people to engage in what they have to share, what they have to offer, what they have to market for the world. They say, okay, I'm gonna blog, I wanna get this content out there. It's really important for me just to be able to get people to this website, to comment, to engage, to hear what we have to say, whether it's about Jesus or this service that I wanna sell. And so this is really important that I keep up with this blog. And you know the best thing that helps a blog is social media, right? Social media is absolutely necessary. I've got this whole strategy put together. I'm gonna make sure I share a lot of links because the more is better, right? But to make sure it's not obscene and annoying and just aggravating, I'm gonna make sure I have a lot of fresh content, content that goes with it of just making sure that people are engaged in that content as well as my blog and everything that goes in between because you have to draw people in with social media because it's social, right? You need to be social. And so people get into this process of let's do social media with blogging, but the real purpose of it is to get people from your social media account to your blog because as Michael Hyatt says, that's your home base. And you have to have a good market, you have to have a good platform, you need to be able to be unique and everybody wants to be Michael Hyatt, everybody wants to be John Acuff. We want to get to that point. The problem though is that's a lot of work and people overextend themselves. They have dreams and aspirations that are completely unrealistic and they put themselves in a position where they are going to fail. And so there's this ability to create content which maybe the first 10, 15 days, you're just rocking it, you're doing everything. You you set up yourself for success so that the first month, maybe more, you just have a new article that's going out and and the social media is just witty and wonderful and then that second month comes and you've got nothing to draw from. And so you say quality is key so you can't do anything until it's good and so you're putting a lot of time and effort into those blog posts but the problem is, is that you're putting so much time into those blog posts that you don't have enough time to put into the social media stuff. Well that's fine, it's already sharing some stuff so at least it's active, that's okay because that's the important thing, people need to keep seeing things. Here's the problem with that. So now all of a sudden the only thing that's going up there is old tweets that you've had if you're really smart about it and you're automating that process. And then you're also posting links to everything that you have online for people to engage with. And what happens with that is, is people start to realize that everything is old and stale. You're, a, you're giving them second rate information. That ability to want to have something that's quality and so you're investing all that time into blog articles and not into your social media account means that your entire feed is just link after link after link and people stop adding you because you're not giving them fresh content. Maybe the blog articles eventually are new and that's fine but that's why you sign up for RSS not social media. And so what happens is people unfollow you and when people unfollow you and they're not checking your content nobody's retweeting you and all of a sudden what happens in this entire process is you're just posting nobody's engaging and the difference between your social media accounts that has a bunch of links and your RSS feed that people have to seek out and subscribe to is at least the people that realize you're not doing anything with it don't see your RSS feed but your social media account is public for the world to see and I hate the fact that that happens for people because they're so good intended in this process they want to see success and so what I encourage you guys is to not let your social media accounts become your RSS feed. There's a whole lot of different strategies to be able to fix this. Um, if you're ever interested, we can talk about it. I, I probably will write a blog article on it, but don't let your account become an RSS feed because then it just shows that you're being lazy or if that's not the case, that's how they interpret it. And then you start to get this entire mentality of What's the point of even following? I have people in mind that I'm thinking about right now that I know they're the best bloggers, have the best intentions to support the church, 
I am not going to follow their social media account because I, I subscribe to RSS. Why in the world would I care about doing that? Because it's just going to clog up my feed. So I encourage you guys to look at your social media. Why is it that you're doing what you're doing? Recounts and audit that entire process. Make sure that you're doing what you need to do. Be successful with what you have and use those resources. If it means cutting back and scaling back, then do that. And so I encourage you guys to do your best to put your best foot forward and to really find success, but be intentional and say no if you need to. Let me know what you guys have to say, some comments down below with this. What do you guys think with feeds that only are posting links? Is it a good thing, is it a bad thing, is it all right? Am I just kind of being over dramatic about this or do you agree with me and say, represent yourself well? So leave comments down below, I will catch you guys next time.